We were in Los Angeles in 1995. Uh, Love and Rockets, who used to be Bauhaus, were a band that, that Throbbing Gristle used to have support them a long, long time ago. And uh, seven o'clock in the morning, after jamming with them all night, we sort of were half waking and heard this voice yelling, the house is on fire, the house is on fire, get out. And the other part of my brain is going, you're dreaming, stay asleep. And this voice kept going, so I kind of got up and looked out the window and there was someone running around going like, the house is on fire, get out. <laughs> so we sort of looked at David J and said, someone's saying the house is on fire, I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> opened the door and looked out on the landing and there's these flames coming up the stairs and all this thick black smoke that was just like in a horror movie it looked like it was alive it was all the carpets burning so it was that really poisonous plastic smoke like tarry smoke and there was no way to go down that way it was kaput but being a brave english person we still ran towards it and checked the room nearer to the fire because someone had been sleeping in there, but they weren't there, so we thought, they're either out or dead. Ran back in, slammed the door, and said to David J, get out of bed, the house really is on fire. And then he got up, somehow he got out of a window safely. But the night before he'd been saying, you see that acoustic guitar there, Jen? Oh, yeah, that's our lucky talisman. I made that at school in Northampton, myself. It's called Big Woody. And we sniggered and went, right, big woody. So we just couldn't let it burn. Took it, threw it, wrapped it in blankets and threw it out of the window to him. And then remembered all the master tapes of their new album were in there as well. So wrapped them up in my bedding and threw them out. At which point we looked and the door was melting and smoke was coming under it. It was just like a hammer movie. We thought it was time to get out. Climbed out onto the windowsill in just these little silk pyjama bottoms and my feet started like a, a cartoon. You know, one of those stupid Disney cartoons. As there was all this dust on the window ledge and it sloped. And so my feet were going and I was thinking, uh-oh. I saw this tree, so I went, oh good. Grabbed the tree and it was dead. And it went click. And as we went back with like this, as always, what did we say? Oh shit. That's what we said. And then bang hit these concrete steps. And so one hit the wrist and smashed the wrist, one hit the elbow and broke it into 36 pieces, the elbow joint. Another one hit this leg and still has permanent nerve damage here. Another one hit here and broke all the ribs. And now we're lying on the floor like this. And somebody came up and said, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, no. And then these firefighters came and said, they said, we're just throwing this lead blanket over you and then we're going to run off, but don't panic. We'll come back. It's just the windows are about to explode outwards. And if we don't do this, you'll be shredded. <laughs> they throw this blanket on me and run off. And then, poof, out comes all the windows. So that was my experience of heights. That's why we don't like falling and looking out of windows anymore.